sits right next to me and uh, placed her towel and she joins me in the state of nudity. As we sit there, there are signs everywhere. Do not sweat on the wood. I'm trying to follow the rules. I just have a biological issue. Where there are a bunch of people relaxing in their birthday suits, which is normal because this is Europe, yelled at by people for not being naked. It finally happened. I finally visited a German sauna. All right, guys, I'm a huge proponent of saunas. My brothers and I, my whole family, all of us are. Uh, when I'm in the States, I sauna every single day at our club. Every single day, I think, saunaing is the unknown health athletic benefit that a lot of people don't seem to know or a lot of younger people don't seem to know about. Yeah, so the Alfieri's are big sauna users. So much so, in fact, that we have a portable sauna at our house that looks like this. It's absolutely ridiculous looking, but it works. And my youngest brother, Andy, has to do a senior project, like basically his graduation project for high school, and he's doing it on the benefits of saunas. Okay, so the Alfieri's love saunaing. So at the Schwäbisch Hall Solebad, I would Solbad for you Americans, the Solbad, is what we call it. I think it's actually pronounced Solebad. It's like saltwater pool area. They also have sauna world. So I went online and I looked up the situation and prices for sauna world. First of all, shout out to my patrons on Patreon uh, for their support because to go to the sauna here is 19 euros. 19 euros. Anyway, I've never done it. I think $19 is a ridiculous price because um, usually when I go to the sauna, I go for 15 to 30 minutes. Look online here. Okay, it's 19 euros, but you're allowed to stay for five and a half hours. I don't know who's, you know, doing this for five and a half hours, but apparently that's the style in Europe. You go to the sauna for half a day. So I bit the bullet. I bought a ticket to go to sauna world. All right, so in the States, saunas are either clothing mandatory or they're separated into different men and women's locker rooms. Say for example at our athletic club in the states that my family goes to, there is a like more public sauna out in the pool area where people can just pop in after swimming, you know, uh, pop out. Everyone's wearing swimsuits. And then there's the more private sauna in each of the respective locker rooms where people are free to uh, partake in the sauna in the nude. But in Germany, it seems here sauna culture is different. It is uh, men and women mixed together and it is full on nude. Now for you Europeans, um, this probably doesn't seem like a big deal, but I come from America and I'm reading a book right now called The Culture Code, uh, which kind of decodes different cultures and behaviors from different countries. Fascinating, by the way, The Culture Code. Anyway, the, he talks about um, American culture and how it's kind of this adolescent culture because it is uh, such a young culture and that is reflected in the personalities generally of its citizens. So Americans have a very adolescent uh, view on stuff like nudity. And so for Europeans, it might not be such a taboo thing, but for Americans, like public nudity is a very strange concept. So from the beginning, I'm battling my adolescent culture prejudices, but uh, I'm trying to go in with an open mind. Like I said, usually when I go to the sauna, I want to go, you know, 15 minutes, 30 minutes tops, in out, get a really good sweat, good cleanse. Um, and head out. I pay 19 euros, so I figure I'm gonna try and stay for a long time and kind of get the full effect. I get in there, and I have to admit, it's really, really cool. It's actually really, really cool. Like here in, in the Schwäbisch Hall sauna, it's uh, this whole two level area where there's not just one sauna. There's like, I don't know, maybe seven or eight saunas across two levels. Each of them set at like different temperatures. So there's like a more mild one at 60 degrees Celsius. There's a little bit more intense one at 80 degrees, 85 degrees, and then 90 degrees Celsius. Um, so these are all like preset temperatures. Whereas in the States, in the sauna, uh, I haven't seen that. Typically you bring in a bucket of water and you pour the water on the coals to adjust the temperature. Now my brothers and I, we like to run it really, really hot. So anytime anybody opens the door, it's too hot for them to get in and then they just leave because we don't like anybody messing with our sauna routine. But here I was unable to do that because the saunas are preset to specific temperatures. But it is kind of cool to be able to see, all right, I'm going in on this 90 degree one, I'm gonna do 10 minutes on that because it's more intense. And then I'll, all right, on the 80 degrees, I'll do 20 minutes. Um, so it's a little bit more of a calculated scientific approach. Each of the different saunas had like, uh, I guess you would say different themes basically, which means like they're decorated differently um, and they had different scents, say like 
lavender or eucalyptus, different, you know, things uh, to help you relax in the hot, hot heat, which I thought was really, really cool. Also, so it's just like, there's essentially like a lobby area where there's a bunch of lounge chairs. Um, and then there's like little bars of like tea and water and like fruit and, and stuff like that, little snacks and refreshments and stuff. So you can kind of recharge, which I thought was really cool. So I guess the system here is, you know, you go into the sauna area and there's a bunch of different sauna options. And then in the middle of the sauna area is like the relax spot where there are a bunch of people relaxing in their birthday suits, which is normal because this is Europe. So I was a little bit nervous going in because I had heard from some of my American friends in the past who had worn their swim trunks uh, to the German saunas because that's typically what you do in the States. And they would gotten yelled at by people for not being naked. They like yell, I'm like, you have to take that off. You can't wear that in here. You have to be naked. Okay. So I knew that going in. So I went in mentally prepared uh, for this. All right, so I get in the area. I see all the cool amenities and everything like that. It's a very uh, specific demographic. It's a, it's a more advanced age demographic, which if you're in a situation like that, you're the only younger person. It's kind of odd. Uh, everyone's looking at you extra. So I'm already really, really like, all right, on edge because it's my first time just walking around all naked. And then on top of that, everyone's kind of just extra staring like, why is there a young person in here? So I felt uh, uncomfortable. So I walk into the first sauna that I chose. It's like an 85 degrees Celsius sauna. Uh, it's on the top floor and it's called the Panoramic Sauna and it's got this great view of downtown Chebyshev Hall. Walk in there, it's empty. Cool, good. I don't have to deal with anybody, okay? I remove my towel and place it on the wood and I sit down and I just stare out the window. The door's the other way and I'm just staring out the window. I feel a little bit weird just kind of being fully naked in like a public place. Um, so I'm just sitting there dealing with that as I'm looking out the window. I hear the door open and I just don't even budge. I pretend I don't hear it, I'm staring out the window. And uh, I hear footsteps getting closer and closer. And then I hear a, hello. And I don't wanna be rude. Um, so I'm looking out the window and I turn and I say hello to a fully naked 80 year old woman who sits right next to me. Big old sauna, a lot of room. No one else in there but me and her. Sits right next to me and uh, places her towel and she joins me in the state of nudity as we sit there. Feel a bit weird, but minute by minute, I'm getting a little bit more comfortable with it. It's not, it's not just the fact that there's like a bunch of naked people around me, but it's the fact that I'm naked too and I just feel like, it just feels weird. I don't know, it just feels weird. We sat in silence, thankfully, because I didn't want to talk. Um, the woman gets up and she grabs her towel. She says, choose, and then she walks away. Um, and then I sit for a couple more minutes and I grab my towel. And now I've been following the rules. Uh, you know, I'm sitting on my towel as to not sweat. And then, uh, you know, my 15 minutes are up. I grab my towel, wrap it around myself, look at the wood, and I have absolutely completely drenched sweated all the way through my towel. It's like I wasn't even sitting on a towel. I don't know, what what are you supposed to do about that? Like, do you need to get extremely thick towels? Like, say you're a, a guy with a sweating problem, like a sweaty guy, comes from a sweaty family, like me. How do you how do you sauna properly and not piss people off? So I saw that and I knew, oh, I'm gonna have such a problem because I've heard all these horror stories about people yelling at young Americans in these German saunas and I just don't wanna be that guy. And now I've got this problem where I'm sweating through the towel and I know that's gonna piss people off because uh, there are signs everywhere. Do not sweat on the wood. I'm trying to follow the rules. I just have a biological issue. There's these cool also little like outside rooms where you can go walk and it's kind of, it's obviously covered so like people outside can't see you in your birthday suit. So I'm outside uh, in the winter Air after just being in the 85 degree Celsius sauna and it's a great contrast it actually feels amazing it does feel weird to be standing outside naked also there's like glass and so everyone in the sauna area can still just see you I'm just standing out there hands on my hips just looking at the sky trying to pretend that I'm comfortable uh, mentally physically I felt really good and relaxed mentally I was a mess so I do that I sipped on some tea for a little bit I strolled around trying not to um, catch eyes with anybody. There's an area with like a relaxing pool, I guess, a bad. And there's just a couple in there who are a little bit younger than the average age. Maybe they're in the, their mid fifties, maybe. Uh, and they were just um, full on straddling each other, making out <clears throat> in this hot tub in the nude. And it was very loud. And uh, for me, an absolutely shocking 
situation of PDA, which by the way, uh, PDA at pools in Germany, off the charts, insane. If they're in the pool, uh, people have no hesitation about displaying their affection for their partner publicly uh, in front of everybody. And uh, it is quite interesting. And uh, it's especially strange when they're in the nude. So, I don't know, Europe, I guess. Anyway, back to the sauna. And then I go into this other sauna. Uh, this is the 90 degree Celsius sauna. This is what I'm here for. This is what I love. The really, really hot to the point where you walk out and you're just dizzy and you feel really relaxed. That's what I want. So I go in there, uh, there's a couple fellas, uh, a couple ladies in there who are all, you know, just living it up. Uh, they're following the towel rule, obviously. Now my towel at this point is clearly like damp. Essentially there's no point for me to put the towel down because it's sweatier than I am. But uh, I'm trying to keep the optics up and I'm trying not to get yelled at. And so I put the towel down and I sit in there for 15 minutes. I'm absolutely drenched in sweat. And I stayed in there and stayed in there. I was trying to wait them out because I knew that once I picked my towel up, they would see my just puddle of sweat all over the wood and then I would get scolded. So I was trying to stay in there as long as possible, uh, waiting for them to all leave so they wouldn't see my sweat stain, uh, but I just couldn't do it. I couldn't, I was about to pass out probably. And so I just said, screw it. I grabbed my towel and I just scurried out of there. I looked back, it was just the worst, just such a just huge sweat stain. Luckily no one said anything to me, but I, I was certain that they, were very disappointed. Uh, but I don't know what to do. What are you gonna bring, three towels? I don't know. So I got out of the really hot one. At this point, I'm getting, you know, I'm getting the effect, the desired effect that I was going for. Gotten a good sweat on, I'm starting to feel relaxed. Uh, drinking some tea, you know, inside, outside, a little contrast action, it feels good. So I basically repeated this process um, for two hours. I, you know, went to the sauna, I went to the outside room, hit the cold bath for a little bit, drank some tea, drank some water trying to slow down and relax. Uh, I eventually started to get more comfortable with the nudity. I think for any American, this is just the first time you go, it's going to be, it's gonna be a little bit shocking because Americans are a little bit more uh, uptight about public nudity, that's for sure. Overall, this was a good experience. If it wasn't so expensive, I, this is something that I would wanna do every day. Besides the nudity, I think even the culture uh, and use surrounding the saunas is, is different in Europe than in the USA because like I said, in the USA, uh, we'll go work out, lift weights, run on the field, and then we'll go, hey, let's go pop into the sauna for 15 minutes and we'll just do that real quick and then we'll go home. Whereas here, uh, going to the sauna is like a all day activity. It's like a, a spa day, like a relaxed day. Um, at least this one that I went to. Which this just also fits perfectly with American, with the European and American culture difference. Like Americans just always on the go, fast, 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 fast food, eat in your car, sauna real quick, go home. Whereas uh, Europeans uh, are able to slow down a little bit more. All right guys, so that is my first German sauna experience. Uh, I began out very, very uncomfortable and by the end, I was only very uncomfortable, so. Good improvement. All right, guys, uh, I think that's gonna be it on the sauna stuff. Probably gonna go again at some point. Still looking for a kind of cheaper option to where I can just pop into a sauna for about 15 to 20 minutes every day. So if you live in the Schleibisch Hall area, let me know. Uh, Cody, it's B, let me use the sauna at your house. Why, yeah, what?